Tenderfoot rank requirement 1B. Spend at least one night on a patrol or troop campout. Sleep in a tent you have helped pitch. Choosing a campsite. A good campsite is more than a convenient place to sleep and eat. Its setting offers you safety and comfort and takes advantages of features like great views and natural windbreaks. Keep the following information in mind as you decide where to spend the night. Environmental impact. The principles of outdoor ethics will help guide you as you select a campsite. Use established campsites whenever you can or camp on durable surfaces. That is, surfaces that will not be harmed by tents and footsteps. Good campsites are found, not made. If you must move a log, a few rocks, or anything else as you pitch your tents, return everything to its original location before you leave. Safety. Pitch tents away from dead trees or trees with limbs that might fall in a storm. Stay out of gullies that could fill during a flash flood and other areas that could fill with water. If you see debris caught in underbrush or if all the grass is bent over in the same direction, choose another site. Avoid lone trees and tops of hills and mountains, high ridges and other possible targets of lightning. Camp away from hiking and game trails, especially in bear country. Look for animal tracks and worn pathways that are too low or narrow for humans. Size. A campsite must be large enough for your patrol to set up its tents and cook its meals in separate areas. Also make sure there's enough space to move around without tripping over tent stakes and guy lines. Comfort. In the summer, look for a shady site where breezes can help cool your tent and chase away mosquitoes. In the winter, find a site where trees and hillsides provide a natural windbreak. Regardless of the time of year, place your tent on the flattest spot possible. If the ground slants a bit, sleep with your head uphill. Consider the sun as well. Morning sun will help dry out your tent. Evening sun can be uncomfortably hot in the summer. Water. Each scout in your patrol will need several gallons of water every day for drinking, cooking, and cleanup. Treat water you take from streams, rivers, lakes, and springs. In dry regions, you might need to carry all your water to camp. That information will be vital when you put together a trip plan. Stoves and campfires. Where fires are not allowed, where wood is scarce, or when you want to prepare your meals quickly, plan on using a camp stove to heat water and cook food. As part of scouting's commitment to preserving the outdoors, stoves are the preferred method for cooking. Where fires are permitted, appropriate, and desired, look for a campsite with an existing fire ring. Only use firewood that is dead and down. Never cut live trees. For more information on using stoves and campfires, see the unit fire guard plan chart. Privacy. A scout is courteous. Respect others by selecting campsites away from theirs. Trees, bushes, and the shape of the land can screen your camp from trails and neighboring campsites. Keep noise down so that you won't disturb nearby campers, and respect quiet hours at public campgrounds and scout camps. Permission. Well ahead of the date of a camping trip, contact rangers or other managers of public parks and forests to let them know you're coming. They can issue the permits you need and suggest how you can fully enjoy your camp out. Get permission from owners or managers of private property, too, before camping on their land. Pitching a tent. Choose a fairly level spot on a durable surface. If there are pine needles, leaves, or other cover, don't rake them away. They can lighten your impact on the land by protecting the soil from erosion. Spread out a ground cloth, a sturdy sheet of waterproof plastic, and unfold your tent on top of it. The ground cloth will protect your tent floor from moisture. It should be just a little smaller than the size of your tent's floor. If your ground cloth is larger, tuck the edges under so that the cloth won't catch rainwater and divert it underneath your tent. Next, assemble the poles and put them in place to give the tent its shape. Pull out the corners of the floor and stake them to the ground. Then use taut line hitches to tie any guy lines around stakes you've pushed into the soil. Although most tents are freestanding, always stake down the tent so the wind doesn't carry it away. Finish pitching the tent by putting the rain fly over it and securing the fly in place.